But yeah, it was great, great feeling, great accomplishment. But they really spent too much time, you know, thinking about that and just getting right to work. Early impressions of Coach Bates and how much you're looking forward to kind of like breaking him into the fold and, and, and getting involved with him and things. Oh like yeah, that. definitely looking forward to going to work. Um, you know, and I, I trust the coaches. Obviously, the coaches, <coughs> all the know what they're doing, and uh, you know, I have a lot of trust in them. So I, I you know, I, um, I'm j and just really trying to build a relationship with Coach Bates too. Obviously, he's new to uh, new to me, and we're all new to him and everything. So we just got to establish a relationship. Definitely. Seems like every year that people question, oh, how 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 is this team going to replace this guy, or how are they going to replace that? But you guys have done a lot of that over the last couple of years. Is there a, a confidence among the defense that that even though some of those guys are gone, that, that I mean, the cupboard is still pretty well stocked? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, there's, there's a reason you recruit, and there's a reason you have a culture here. Um, you know, it doesn't matter you know who we, who who we, who we lose really. I mean, the next guy always is ready to play, and you know we do we do such a good job here developing guys too. So guys are always ready to perform when they have to. Is spring kind of a grind? I mean, there's it's not like fall where where you go okay, well the first game is right here. Right. I mean, there's I mean there is the scrimmage, but there's not there just isn't that much of a carrot at the, you know at, at the end of the tunnel. Uh, no, um, I think uh, springs are really big time. I, I love the spring. Uh, it's really your time to really get a lot better and make that jump as a player. I feel like that's when I made my biggest jump from uh, the end of my freshman year last year. And, uh, you know, um, really was in the spring. That's where I really got a lot better, had time to really get it on the playbook, know every, pick up every little nuance, uh, you know, and really just learn as much as I could. You know, and you're not going every day too, so it's not as fast. So you really have time to think about it and just walk through things and, you know, take it a little slower. So, I mean, the springs are really, really big. And I mean, and. You know, I, I'll treat it like you know, like it's like I'm getting ready for a game. You got the spring game at the end of it, so I mean, I, I look forward to it. Coach Sweeney told us they plan to move you back inside, obviously with the possibility of playing both inside and out. But how much do you look forward to moving back to inside? Um, I'm happy to do it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I didn't play much of it last season, obviously, and uh, so it's a, it, it's like you know, there's little things I got to get back used to doing. And, uh, you know, just if the little footwork, little technique things, you know, everything happens a lot quicker inside, too. So got to be ready for that. And I'm, obviously, I'm just real willing and ready to do whatever helps the team. So, I mean, I'm ready to go. Do you have to change your kind of off season? I don't know how much you tried to slim down or trim up for playing outside. Do right. you feel a little bit different about your um, season on the inside? Uh, well, I still try to just be in the best shape as well I possibly can and, and still trim up a little bit, too, because got to be ready for whatever. I mean, obviously, I'm going to start out inside, but anything happens, i got to be able to still stay versatile and be able to move outside if necessary. You said you feel like you can make a big jump in the spring, and that's what you did last year. Is there anything right. in particular you want to work on this year? Uh, really just, you know, you never you never be too, too much of a technician. I really want to get my technique down, just little steps, and, you know, and just be becoming more of a leader and knowing the whole the defense as a whole, really, and just my overall knowledge of the game. Well, stands out to you about Niles Keaton. I think he makes a good strike. Uh, Niles, I mean, yeah, Niles is a tough guy. I mean, uh, he's, he's he's developed a lot since the time he's come here, uh, and I think you know he'll be able to help us out this year if he has a good spring and a good camp and everything. And um, you know, definitely, I'm looking forward to see how he develops and uh, even more, and just being able to help him just as an older guy who's you know experienced a lot already in my two years here. You know, can just help him and just teach him a lot as much as I can. You have to make sure that. These guys stay just as hungry as they were following last year when you didn't win the championship and you lost right. in the championship game. This year you won it. Do you have to guard against complacency as, as a uh, player well, yeah, and, and your well, teammates? Yeah, well, you have to. You got definitely got to just keep grinding. I mean, that's just the culture here. It doesn't matter how well or how well we do or whatever. You still got to grind, you know. And just the just the the system we have in play. You know, that's just a just we just go to work. I mean. But I, I don't think I don't think I've seen it at all where guys seem complacent or anything like that. We've been we've been just grinding and you know doing what we got to do. That's all we know how to do really is just work. So. What was the grind like at Matt Drills and everything? What was that? Matt Drills. How oh yeah, for yeah, that? yeah, yeah obviously, that? yeah. We, we I mean, those are obviously tough and everything. But guys are still working. No one, yeah, you know, everyone showed up every day and just went right got right into it. Went right to work. Um, and I think we had a good Matt Drill and everything too, and definitely built, built oh, yes, grew a lot tighter as a team too throughout yes. that. So. How much will you to miss Scott Pagano? Um, obviously, you have some depth there, but um, mm -hmm. just what he brings both on and off the field. Oh yeah, definitely. Just uh, mostly off the field. Uh, me and Scott were always really close and everything. So, but I mean, um, you know, obviously wish the best, wish him, wish him well. You know, and uh, but yeah, uh, you know, he's a guy with a lot of experience, played a lot of football, good player, uh, taught me a lot. You know, coming in as a young guy, it really helped me overall in my overall development. Um, you know, as a player. But um, 
I mean, guys leave every year too, so you know, it's kind of like to see, just like anything else, uh, whether he left the NFL or whatever, you know, he, he was going to leave at some point. So, um, I mean, we just guys are just going to have to step up, uh, put a lot more of the leadership uh, weight on my shoulders and everything too. So. You worked with both Coach Hobby and Coach Brooks. How tough is it for you guys to lose both of those guys in the same year? Um, obviously, we, you know, you know those guys since you're. 14, 15, 16 years old, and you know you, you just throughout the recruiting, and then you know you come here, you put a lot, you know you put a lot of faith and trust in them, and you grow so tight with them, and then now you're a 21 year old man, and you know it's obviously just from a um, just from a relational standpoint, you just miss those guys a lot, you know those look to those guys are just you know positive male figures in your life, everything, but um, but obviously uh, you know it's just tough from that standpoint, but I know that. You know, Coach, Coach uh, Bates will definitely get us right and you know, put us in a good position to you know, put a good product out there on the field. What are your impressions of Coach Bates so far? Is there anything new, fresh, different that he's bringing so far? Um, I mean, really, he's just, he's, he's just from what I've seen, he's just ready to work and he's just trying to get us as good. And he's ready to get us as, uh, as good as we can possibly be. Definitely bring out all the best in us for sure. Coach Sweeney told us that they just opened this place to you players on Monday. How much time have you spent over here, uh, just you know, from a recreational uh, standpoint? I've been, I've been here a good bit, um, just using up all the stuff. Uh, <laughs> you know, this will make a this a good place for a good date night. Uh, you got the movies, you, uh, you got bowling, you got putt putt. You know, you can do it all here. Definitely you got the nap room. That's nice. Although you guys ruined that for me today because I got to do interviews. <laughs> so I wasn't able to use that. But yeah, um, you know, it's definitely definitely real nice. And, is the competition pretty stiff, or you know, you have a waiting list for some of these? Oh things? yeah, yeah. guys are down there all the time. There's not really a time like when we're here where you know guys aren't using using the stuff. Someone's always bowling or on the golf simulator or something, trying to get the swing right. Uh, yeah, so I mean, and, and definitely it's a lot of fun. Guys, we're getting really competitive. You see who's really bad, and it's just funny. It's all it's all just fun too. What's your favorite next time around? My definitely my least favorite is the golf simulator because um, <laughs> it's just tough. I'm really bad at golf and it's I'm ready to break about every club uh, down there. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, ball has been fun and uh, basketball for sure too. Is, has Dexter been down the slider? Is he up against that weight limit? Uh, yeah, the yeah, he's, yeah he, he can't even fit in the, in the hole. <laughs> so, no. But yeah, he's been down it and stuff. Uh, but he, he, maybe once uh, I've seen him, and then he doesn't. He, he takes it serious most of, most of real time. So. Dexter came in kind of like you did, made an instant impact on the defensive line as a true freshman. Um, how, how do you see him taking another leap forward, improving his game? Oh yeah, just uh, year two, just now having the experience and just confidence. You know, every every time you play more, and you know, each year your confidence grows. And, um, and now he's gonna come more of and come more into a leadership role too. Uh, last year he's just kind of like that young guy who just was taking so much in, and you know, we asked a lot of him. Uh, just really had to try to get things down as much as he can. But now he's in more in a position to lead. Uh, to, you know, he has those those leadership qualities, and you know, he'll be really able to help the team from that standpoint. Do you see him being that kind of a vocal guy? He seems kind of soft spoken. Definitely, with the media. yeah. Um, but definitely more by example, and just you know, you know, just as someone you can look to, you know, in certain situations, and you know, he'll be there to help you and guide you. Um, you know, kind of like how I was for him last year. He'll be able to be there for whoever else, and just be, you know, and just not necessarily. He's still, you know, uh, a little on the quieter side. Um, I think he'll definitely be able to help us and lead for sure. For sure. You might be the opposite of that. Coach Bates called you the biggest personality he's ever been around. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because of the, the stage that you guys had, more a lot of people got to kind of experience that personality last year. Have you gotten a lot more people who kind of know who you are or have expectations of you? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. That's that's been kind of nonstop. People like. Uh, all the time when I see people, or when I see people, they see me. It's like, oh, Christian, put out a dance for us, or like, uh, do the split. It's like, oh, I'm not really gonna do that. But uh, you know, um, I like to save my dance for post game celebrations. But, but yeah, I definitely get a lot of that and everything. Is it is it fun for you that like people actually take an interest in like who you are and your personality as opposed to kind of just viewing you through the prism of he's a football player? Uh, uh definitely, because uh, obviously I'm more than just a football player, and just like uh, anytime. Someone can realize that, 
you know, it's always kind of like, so. Do you, I, you know, I really think a lot of af- young athletes particularly kind of think about, like, their brand for the future. Mm-hmm. Is that, you know, is this part of, like, a Christian Wilkins brand, maybe? Uh, no, I'm just, I don't really, think, I don't really think of it like that. Or, like, I always have my mind, like, I got to build my, definitely build my brand. But I, the things I do are genuine. It's not like I'm, I'm doing this as a brand, a brand builder. Just being myself, really, is it's, it's, it's what I, all I feel like I need to do. And I'll, you know, you just, you know, just protect my brand, too. Christian, you seem to have a good grasp of the personality of this entire team. Looking over at the offensive side of the ball with the loss of so many important personalities. Who are some of the people you think are good candidates to sort of I mean, rise up I mean, yeah, uh, obviously a lot of big names are going on offense, but like I said before, we, you know, we recruit and we have a culture here. Guys are ready to play. Um, guys will be ready to step up. Those guys who, who we lost uh, obviously led the younger guys, and so, you know, uh, helping them mold to be ready uh, for this for this uh, this position, really just ready to contribute. Um, but yeah, definitely, there's a lot of guys all over the place. Um, I'm really just looking forward to see you know who steps up on both sides of the ball. Uh, that's what springs for. I uh, to really get better, and so the coaches can evaluate guys and you know, put the best guys out. There. Nobody on offense comes to mind. I mean, there's just a lot. I mean, everybody. I'm just really looking forward to the whole competition and see who really you know who steps up. You know. Coach Bates said that you kind of interviewed him a little bit too uh, after yeah. he was getting to know you. What's his demeanor, kind of his personality? Uh, yeah, like like you said, I was just really getting to know him a little bit too, and uh, just seems like a genuinely good guy. Um, you know, definitely a lot like all the other coaches from that standpoint. Just uh, just a good, genuine dude who you know who looks to bring his best every day and get you better. So. What, what kind of interview questions do you give a guy? Uh, they're, they're all over the place. It weren't just like the strict. I was asking him just the most random stuff. Uh, but I was kind of upset too because uh, I asked him, which, uh, "Who do you like more, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the Power Rangers?" And I asked him that three different times throughout the interview, and he, did, and he didn't catch on. He, was, he disappointed me and said the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, uh, yeah, you know, just don't, just don't get it. <laughs> Have you seen any of the captions like, what, like your split video kind of got made into a, a GIF on Twitter? Oh, and yeah. people were like, What's the funniest caption you saw? Oh man, um, I seen a bunch. I uh, there's so many I can't even really remember. I just, you know, just like I just remember scrolling and just laughing and giggling out of five of them. Uh, but yeah, this this has been a bunch. I really can't think of one.